they claim it's the last knife sharpener you ever need. Well, we're going to find out about that. Let's take a close-up look at this uh, before we get uh, uh, involved in the ultimate test. So this is, of course, uh, marketed by Benchmade. They don't make this. This is made by, uh, it says Ready Edge here. Uh, I went online and did a little research, and I found out that the um, um, they make them, looks like they make them for several different companies. Uh, and what we have here is a very small and very lightweight uh, sharpener. Now they claim here that they've got these little, um, I guess these are the, these little sharpening deals here. I don't know what those are. It looks kind of like carbide. They claim it's Duramite. So I did a little search on Duramite. You know what I found? Uh, nothing. It's just a, a name that they made up for their product apart from, I think there was some sort of a male enhancement. Well, anyway, uh, Duramite. Uh, and it's also ceramitized. That sounds good, right? Sounds like ceramic and that sounds like something that's hard. So I searched, well, what else would I, can I find that is ceramitized? And again, nothing. Two made, <laughs> two made up words uh, that are just kind of meaningless. But um, anyway, so how nice would this be? I mean, it could, is it really possible for us to dispense with all of our fancy high dollar sharpeners and simply have this? I mean, it's got a hole in it. We could literally Put it on a key ring. Speaking of key rings, you know what key rings say about you as a person? A lot of psychology in that. I'll have to go into that in another video. This is my key ring here. I'm a, definitely a minimalist. I like the, uh, uh, the, the little carabiner deal and the house key and then of course for the adventure van. Anyway, so this is, uh, yeah, so this is it. It's a small key ring sharpener. So I thought what better thing to test it on than the 940. And speaking of knives, as you guys have seen in the latest videos, I have, uh, I'm, I'm very much enamored uh, with this Spyderco <laughs> Paramilitary 3. Man, I love this knife. I've actually, believe it or not, I've actually, I can't decide on which one to carry, so I've been carrying both of them. They're both in my right front pocket getting beat up on one another, but man, I like <laughs> These might be the two best knives in the world. How can you pick? It's like trying to pick a favorite child, right? So that's why I need to use it. I need I need uh, six months minimum to live with it before I can uh, before I can go out on a limb and say which one I like better. But uh, uh, but they're both awesome. So let's uh, let's uh, get to work and, and see <laughs> see what we can do with the world's smallest sharpener. Let's take a look at the current state of the, the blade. Before we attempt to sharpen it, we want to make sure that we knock any edge off that we have there. So this is, I've, it's probably been a couple weeks since I put an edge on this. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's, it's sharp, uh, definitely sharp. We'll use the same paper, the before and after. So let's go and knock this edge off. It's going to be a painful thing to do. Uh, and then we'll see, uh, see what happens. And what better way to knock an edge off of a fine knife than to drag it across a file, huh? Yeah, I know. Trust me, it's just as hard for me to do as it is for you to watch. I put an age into this edge, but there's no length I won't go for you guys to get to the truth. Here we go. So I'm going to go across here and we'll drag that across. Oh, I could just feel it cutting. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. We'll do it both ways here. Take it this way. Oh, the sound is, wor is the worst thing. Still got an edge on it there. We're gonna really... How's that? How's that for you, huh? Did that do it? Let's see here. Same piece of paper. That's some pretty good steel. <laughs> We're gonna have to get more drastic. Here, let's set it flat. Oh, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Cutting a file. And this, of course, is uh, S30V. This so we'll find out how tough this is. I don't know if anyone's ever done that before. Let's see here. Okay, that did it. We got no, we got, well, it's, it's not dull enough, is it? One more time. Okay. Let's see. It should, we need, it should be able to slice here. Yeah, it's super, it's super dull now. Oh, Avon calling. Here's a little better angle here. Let's see for sure. Okay, so we are officially 
officially dull. Uh, it won't. It won't even start. Won't even hardly. Start. Well, I mean, it's it's not. Man, that is some pretty good steel on there. I mean, it's still. It's sharper than a lot of knives I've carried around before I learned how to sharpen. I'll tell you that. But it's. I guess the thing is, 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 is we've got to look at is, you know, will it start cutting in, in a corner like that? Even with help, no, it definitely will not. All right, let's, let's go to work on it. So a guy could most certainly um, hold this in your hand, but just to, for ease of demonstration here, we'll put this in the, in the vise. I like that. It's nice that they've got that raise on, on there, that, kind of that profile. Um, that way it is easy to clamp into something and it is all, it's all metal. Okay. Just read the instructions and uh, it says uh, light to moderate pressure and just simply pull it in here straight and draw it, draw it to us. I can definitely feel it cutting. This is a kind of a, well, oh, this is a bad spot. Um, I think we need to do this on the table because it's going to come off here. I'm not going to be able to arrest it from hitting that. Let's, let's move over to the softwood. Here we go. This will be a little bit better here. So let's pull it across. Sharpens both, both uh, sides equally. Now on their website, they said they had two different angles. They had one set at 40, one at 60, which is 20 and 30 degrees respectively. I think this one is the 60, so I, we should be sharpening at a 30 degree angle, which is just fine for an EDC knife. I can definitely feel it cutting. It, uh, it gets smoother each time, so it, it is definitely removing material. You know, it's, it's better. It's not great. Um, it's actually quite a bit better. I mean, we can do a push cut here on this paper. And this paper is a little bit damp from the humidity, so that makes it even worse. But you can see here how, I mean, it's not bad. I think it's probably sharper than the majority of the knives. If you were to, you know, grab a hundred pocket knives from a hundred different guys and test them, it's probably sharper than the majority of them because, uh, you know, sharpening is just such, such witchcraft, wizardry that uh, a lot of guys really struggle with it. I know I've, it's actually, it actually works relatively well. I mean, I'm almost wondering if, if let's, let's try this. If, let's get hit it on here a couple more times, really, really light. And then let's hit it, let's, let's touch it up on a little bit of, I'll show you a little trick to, that you can, uh, how you can touch up your blade on your uh, car window. Here's a trick I learned from um, Ray Mears, the, the bush crafter. If you have a, um, if you can kind of stay on top of uh, your knives with like ceramic or even a piece of glass like this, you, the top of your windshield is really good. And the angle is not super critical as long as it's a little bit more than whatever you are, you've sharpened at. So just, you know, just exaggerate a little bit and just, I mean, just light, just the weight. Just the weight of the blade and maybe a little pressure, pressure from your hand across there is going to help, you know, because we've pulled that, uh, we've cut that, reprofiled that blade with that small sharpener, and it is, it's a little bit crude, and this glass is really hard and really fine, and it'll help to kind of finish that off. Let's see if that made any difference here. So a little different piece of paper, but it came from the same brochure here. Yeah, that sets a whole lot better. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. So, so what did we learn here? Well, I mean, how would I rate this? Uh, like on a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give this thing like a. Um, yeah, you now this is it's hard to rate this because it, it's you know it's not trying to be anything fancy, right? It's just trying to be an ultra super lightweight uh, tool uh, that a guy can get a serviceable edge on with minimal expense and, and minimal fuss, right? So that in itself, 
has a lot of value. I mean, can you compare it up to like the Russian knife sharpener? Well, uh, of course not, but you're talking a fraction, fraction of the size. Are you gonna carry a big green box around, right? Um, how about for, uh, would I carry this on my key ring? Um, no. I wouldn't because I have access to, to better knife sharpeners than this. But um, in an emergency kit, in the truck, in the glove box, uh, maybe on a key ring, maybe for a guy that just, you know, not really into it like a lot of us are, and you just want, you want something that's going to cut that you can do really quickly, it's actually pretty darn good for that. And at the cost, I mean, I don't look like they were like anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks. So let's say, let's say, you know, 17 bucks or so for one of these. Um, it's not too bad. I was wondering what would be cool, and I don't know if this is, would work or not, if, if these little, the little carb, what did we call those things, that made up name? The little carbide cutters or whatever they are, if they're reversible, like after it gets worn, can you take those little nuts out there and flip them? Um, you know, of course they're, they're rectangles, so you'd be able to flip them on the opposite side, not all, you couldn't use all four sides, but wouldn't it have made, made more sense from a design standard uh, to make that perfectly square and then you could turn it turn it turn it four times and you got four chances uh to or you can extend the life of it four times instead of twice and i don't even know if these are flippable um it didn't say anywhere on the package i think that would have been a an important thing to write on on the package um but overall it's it worked you saw it we we, we knocked the knife the, the edge off and now we have a we have a blade that's serviceable it's an ugly looking blade you know it's just de it's definitely not pretty it kind of has that look of remember those knife sharpeners we grew up with where you'd <laughs> makes me cringe to think about it uh my mom would drag the you know, like a really nice cut co inch chef knife across the electric can opener, you know, the sharpener, that rough grinder on the back, you know, um, hilarious, but it, it reminds me of that. It kind of looks like that, but it is sharp. If you were to hand this to me um, right now, uh, I would say, yeah, that is a knife. Uh, that's a blade that I would consider it to be sharp. So I'm surprised it's better than I, better than I thought it would be. Uh, but it's not perfect, obviously, because it's a pocket knife sharpener. I don't know how you could do any better um, for such a small form factor and small size, something a key ring sharpener that you could sharpen, and it doesn't even matter the length of the knife. I mean, you could pull a, a, a um, you know, a 10 inch Bowie across there or your, your little, you know, two inch sheep's foot from your case knife. It doesn't really make any difference as long as it fits in there and you don't mind, um, you know, the 30 degree angle or the 20 degree angle. Maybe the 20s for the chef knife and the 30 for the EDC knife. That's probably probably where they're going. But that's it. I'll put a I'll put a link over to these in the in the comment section if you want to order one and try it out, but I would say um uh, you know, if you can get one for under 20 bucks and, and you just want something to, to get you by that'll uh, do a decent job, I'd say it's probably a, a pretty good fit. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and the comment. We appreciate that. And we'll see you guys on the next video.